Hi, dear colleagues and partners and friends. We are trying our live stream at the moment. So the official start is in uh, five minutes or so. So we are checking all the technical characteristics. If we are alive, if we are not, <laughs> okay. Do you? Okay. Yeah. If you if you hear me, if you hear me well, if the sound is good, could you please uh, put in the chat box just the plus sign? Just plus. So I know for sure that I'm online, that you hear me well, so we can uh, start our live stream, our webinar. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I see that Mr. Tanwa is here. So right now we are just checking if we can start our live stream. How many? Uh -huh. Okay, okay, so uh, at the moment that uh, we are uh, checking if, uh, if the sound is good, if the video is fine, just generally if uh, network uh, is working well. So at the moment, let me remind you the main goal of this, uh, of this live stream, of our online meeting. So uh, we ask you, uh, people in Africa, uh, what type, uh, what kind of platform uh, in social media you would like to use for our uh, talks, for our communication between uh, BST and you. And uh, successfully, uh, so you voted and uh, we decided that uh, uh, exactly YouTube would be the perfect place, uh, the perfect platform for us uh, to talk, to discuss important and useful uh, information. That is why we are here, but uh, we officially start just in uh, several minutes. So right now we are waiting for everyone to join our a live stream. So, and uh, let me remind you that the the topic of our discussion for today exactly, and you can see it on the board already. So, how to get a BST drilling rig in Africa using a bank loan? These are the key words: a bank loan. This is. Uh, what I'm going to uh, share the information about, uh, what type of uh, banks can be, um, can be recommended to you uh, to request a loan, uh, what the requirements are for some of the banks, and um, if there are any uh, down payment is needed, if uh, there is any uh, collateral, yeah, and uh, uh, what it equals to. And uh, I have a plan here just to follow. So uh, <laughs> I, uh, I know for sure what is needed to be um, uh, given to you, yeah, what type of information. And uh, meanwhile, I will also put some important general info just in a short form here on board. So you could also follow me uh, with, with the audio and with some visualization on the board. But um, 
this information that I'm going to uh, share with you, so it is uh, for today exactly, yeah, for this webinar, it is related to uh, people in Zambia, uh, Kenya, Tanzania, uh, and Nigeria. So, uh, and, and Zambia, four countries. Four countries um, that we will speak about uh, regarding uh, uh, getting a bank loan. And uh, the reason we cover um, this topic uh, related to only these four countries, because at the moment we have uh, BST branches open there in these four countries, or whether BST branches or uh, our partners who are located and who are based in these four countries. And uh, since we cooperate with them, and they cooperate and uh, work with um, uh, specific banks. So in this uh, in this chain, right? Um, in this connection, so we would like to uh, to have a fruitful cooperation. Uh, therefore, just giving you the opportunity to work with these specific recommended banks those that we are working with or our partners in these countries working with. So that's the reason we are covering um, opportunity uh, to get a bank loan in Zambia, Kenya, Tanzania, uh, and um, Nigeria. All right. What time is it? It's time almost yeah, we, we, we are starting in, uh, in two minutes. So guys, uh, let me remind you that um, during my speech, during uh, giving all this information, uh, you have a, not only just chance, but I encourage you uh, to use this chat box that you can see uh, near the video that you are watching right now. So this is the uh, section where you could put your comments uh, or any questions that you have regarding the topic of uh, uh, getting BST Drill and Rig in, uh, in your country using a bank loan. So please, uh, or maybe if I have some questions, whether you hear me well or <laughs> whether you see me well, you could also just give us some uh, comments there. Okay, for example, Mr. Uh, Crispin asks, right? I want to learn how we can get bank loans in Zambia. That's right. And um, what are the terms and conditions? That's right. That's right. Okay, all this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Uh, Mr. Crispin, we will cover this, uh, um, this question, this issue, just in a couple of minutes, because uh, this is the main goal of our, our webinar today. So we will speak about it uh, later. Just stay tuned. I will inform you uh, regarding uh, Zambia as well. Okay, guys. How many of you there? So I can see that we have seven, seven people watching us. I would like to say hello to each of you, whether you are uh, watching us from uh, Kenya, Zambia, Nigeria, Tanzania, or any other country in Africa. So I hope that you are having a, a nice day today, Friday. <laughs> Okay, all right. So just for those of you who are joining us right now at this very second, uh, I remind you that uh, we plan to have uh, such a YouTube talk, right? Um, uh, such a project uh, that we uh, decided to launch to, in order to communicate with you. So we, have, we are going to have them uh, every Friday starting from this Friday today, and uh, we will cover, each time we will cover uh, different topics that we 
we and you find um, useful, important and um, something on uh, um, something that is very relevant uh, for, for, uh, for us and uh, for your dear colleagues and partners. And as for today's topic, you can see it on the board, how to get BSC Dwayne Riggs in Africa using a bank loan. This is the topic that, by the way, you asked us uh, and requested to discuss it with you. So this is why we are doing this today. Okay, so it's time to start, I guess. So the time has come. And um, let me let me start. I think we are ready to do so. All right. Again, I would like to uh, say hello to everyone who is watching us right now, and uh, uh, thank you for joining in. Thank you for uh, following our uh, WhatsApp uh, group chats for each country, for Zambia, Tanzania, Nigeria, and Kenya. Really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for being active there. And hopefully you will be active in the um, chat box with your questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And by the way, guys, um, let me tell you a little uh, secret. <laughs> for you or something uh, that you definitely need to uh, benefit it from, get, get a benefit. So at the end of this webinar, at the end of this video, I'm going to share a special promo code. So I'm gonna put it right here, not the promo, but um, what is going to give you you will have with this promo code you will have discount in the amount of uh, 1000 us dollars when placing the order right when uh getting gbu 15 lp so this is the discount that you are going to have right but um, what is needed for it, right? Let me, let me put it on the board as well. How to get, let me just put it right here. How do I get 1000 USD discount For GBU 15 LP that I'm interested in, that I would like to get, how do I get it? Number one. So what is needed? You would need to make a 10% prepayment or we call it pre-order. 10% pre-order payment but the main um, thing here that is needed to be until February, which is next week, February the 6th, well, 2024, of course. Uh, so it's, uh, it's going to be next, next Tuesday, so you will have today and then Monday next week and then Tuesday next week. So 10% pre-order until February the 6th. So this is the condition number one, right? How to get uh, 1000 USD discount. Condition number two, the promo code that I told you. Promo code. So, as for this point, as for this condition, everything is clear, right? We have uh, a limited offer valid till February the 6th. What about promo code? Well, to get this um, secret word, right? You would need to um, 
watch this live stream, watch this video till the end, because only at the end of, uh, uh, of our discussion, of our topic, I will share the promo code with you, right? And what is needed, and I will remind it to you later, but um, for me to understand, right, that you guys uh, are ready to, to follow these two conditions, so I would need to get a promo code, which is the, uh, the word, right, that I'm going to share with you later. I would need to get it from you in the uh, text message on WhatsApp. And my WhatsApp details, my contact information is in the um, section below this video. So you will, you will see it, no problem. Okay, so I'm going to put it here, right? So you remember that you, if you are truly interested to get GBU 15 LP with the 1000 USD discount, so you will remember that here's the sign for you to think about your decision. Okay, but for now, let me clear this up. Okay, and by the way, guys, for me to understand that you're interested in getting to know um, what is needed, right, to get any, um, to get a drilling rig uh, with the, using a bank loan, so please give this video a thumbs up. So I know for sure that uh, you are encouraged, you are interested to learn more about this topic. All right, guys. Um, all right. So how about we we start, right? So uh, like I told you, we are going to cover um, this uh, information, right, uh, to answer this question. But specifically for uh, for the countries that we have partners in. And they are they are Zambia. Let me put abbreviations for you, okay? I hope you don't mind. We have Zambia, we have Tanzania. Nigeria and Kenya. Okay. And um, just to discuss uh, such a big topic, right? We need to figure out what is needed for us uh, to dwell upon. Some points that we need to take into consideration. And they are, of course, Mm, the requirements, right? What is needed for every uh, applicant to get or to request a loan in a bank? Yeah, what the requirements are for each country, right? Then we will talk about uh, the down payment. And typically it's a percentage uh, of the amount of the loan that is uh, requested by a bank, right, to to start the deal, yeah, to uh, to get a loan. Then we will speak about uh, the bank rates that are uh, usually dependent on the type of the bank, of course, yeah, or um, on the bank itself. But uh, still, we are uh, we will give you, I will give you <laughs> some general information for in each country. Uh, next, we will uh, speak about the loan period. This is the options that, uh, of course, banks are giving you um, some time to get this uh, uh, loan paid. Then I will uh, give you some list uh, of the banks, again, for each country. Then we'll see if uh, uh, any uh, collateral is needed, spoiler, 
it is always needed, but uh, I will tell you uh, what it equals to, right? Whether it's uh, the value of the uh, loan or of the product that you are um, going to get, or if there are any other options. Uh, then uh, the next step is the uh, time or wait time for you as an applicant. Um, how much time is needed for you to get a loan from the moment that uh, you submitted all the documents till the day you are actually approved with getting a loan. And uh, the last but not least, so we have uh, in total eight points and the uh, point number eight is the product availability. Whether it is important for bank, for any bank in any country that we are talking about today, whether it is important uh, for a bank to have uh, the product, which is Adrenaline Rig, available in your country, in a specific country. All right, so as promised, let's start with the point number one, which was the requirements. The requirements needed or uh, requested from you as an applicant by the bank. And um, as for Zambia, so, uh, oh, by the way, uh, let me give you this uh, remark that um, the information uh, that I'm going to share with you, it was previously shared to me by our partners in each of these countries. So, um, therefore, for Zambia, I, uh, let me remind you that we have a branch office there and um, it is the uh, company, our partner company, AgraSource Investments Limited. So as for the requirements, right? So let me put it right here. So this is what we are going to discuss for each country right now. So as for Zambia or uh, any other country, so we have uh, this um, uh, division into uh, whether you have a company or you are requesting a loan as an individual. Because sometimes the requirements, they differ depending on this, uh, on this fact. Therefore, for example, for um, for companies, if you do have a company, right? So, what, uh, what the requirements are. So, you would need to have um, the board resolution. The board resolution uh, that allows the company to actually apply for a loan. Then, of course, uh, there are some uh, relevant uh, company documents, such as the uh, certificate of incorporation or registration certificate. Then, uh, such a document as a uh, tax clearance certificate. It can be requested as well. And uh, as for the requirements that I am sending, you, uh, sharing <laughs> with you right now, so they are, um, they depend on the bank in each case. So uh, feel free to contact uh, bank managers or bankers. They are always ready to help you, trust me. But uh, as for now, those requirements that I am telling you, for Zambia, for example, this is um, these are the requirements for. Let me put it here. From Access Bank, and this is the bank 
that uh, that we recommend you to work with since uh, our um, branch office, our partner in Zambia, they are cooperating with this bank. It means that, uh, so what is our recommendation? Is to go to this very bank because they already, uh, they know us. They know BC company, they know our partner in, uh, in Zambia, therefore they uh, they already have um, uh, a history, right? A profile, a credit profile. So in this very bank. And uh, it helps you uh, and, and uh, it helps just in general to increase the chance uh, of uh, getting a bank loan in, uh, in, in Zambia for you. And uh, by the way, guys, So, or, um, okay, let me check. I see that you are very active uh, in the uh, chat box. This is very good. <laughs> this is very good. Okay, okay, guys. That's nice. That's nice. All right, l let us continue. We have uh, so, so, much, so many points to cover, right? And I see Mr. Devison Lunansu himself, yeah, who's our partner in Zambia, who's uh, texting in our chat box. That's very good. Okay, we continue. So the requirements for the company. Uh, besides some documents, we would also uh, need to provide some financial statements. Financial statements. And they vary uh, from three years, or for example, you need to also provide three months bank statement. So proving that you, that you do have some uh, uh, money income. Financial statement or bank statement. Then we continue with the collateral. Though, so we are, um, we will discuss collateral in, uh, in another point, but trust me, so every uh, single bank in every country, they most likely need to have a collateral because this is how uh, banks work. Okay, as for uh, individuals. So for individuals, we have, uh, again, bank statement, the same for uh, the company. Collateral as well, uh, proof of residence. This is something uh, individual. Uh, this is something that differs from uh, the requirements for the company. Residency. You would need to confirm that you are f uh, have a residency in uh, Zambia. And of course, there will be an uh, interest rate. Of co uh, again, depending on your um, on your uh, credit profile, on the credit profile of the uh, applicant or of the customer. Interest rate. As for interest rates, uh, we will discuss them. Again, later, so do not worry if, uh, if you think that uh, so you are, we are running out of time, so we are not, we will discuss everything uh, in details as well. So let us uh, move on to uh, Tanzania. Again, we are discussing requirements, but then we move to Tanzania. Okay. So, as for Tanzania, we have uh, requirements that uh, meaning that you are obliged to um, to provide the following documents. Again, bank statement. You see, there will be some requirements that uh, uh, similar or the same because 
uh, this is something universal. So it works in every country, in, on every continent, and so on. So bank st statement, then uh, you would need to have uh, a company, meaning that you need to provide the business license. Business license. Okay, um, and uh, besides having any company registered in your country, in Tanzania, so you would also need to have uh, um, any office or any place where uh, you're, uh, you're based or your company based, meaning that you need to have business physical location. Business physical location. And what is also needed by uh, the banks in Tanzania is um, some information or um, some data about directors. So let me put uh, details, right, or any documents, any informations um, about directors, people who, are, who run uh, this or that company. And of course, again, collateral. We have it in every, every bank, every bank requested. Okay. As for Tanzania, the recommended bank that we are working with, or at least one of them, let me put it here. It's um, for those of you who know. It is Mwanga. I hope I pronounce it well. Hakika Bank. Okay. All right. So we continue with the requirements, right? how to get a loan in your country. We uh, move on to Nigeria. So in, um, in Nigeria, we have uh, actually pretty much the same requirements, though what is, um, what is specific about uh, Nigerian banks is that they, uh, they ask you to have uh, uh, to have an open account in their bank. So let me put it here that it's similar, right? This is the sign <laughs> for me not to put the same information here, right? So one, two, three, and so on. Open bank account in, uh, in the Bank of uh, Nigeria. And the recommended bank that our uh, partner, Mr. Samuel Amesor, uh, who is our yeah, partner in Nigeria, the recommended bank is um, United Bank of Africa. United Bank of Africa. You know this abbreviation, UBA. So, by the way, they have uh, their headquarters in Nigeria. All right. And we move on to Kenya. So, as for Kenya, in, again, uh, we do have uh, similar requirements, such as collateral. Like I told you, it's, um, it's, it's a uh, thing that, something that repeats, yeah, from uh, one country to another, from one bank to another. But as for the bank that we recommend you and suggest you to work with, because we um, work with it as a company or our partners work uh, and uh, um, have an open account there, bank account. So in Kenya, we have KCB, right, KCB Bank. All 
great. Uh, and as for the requirements, again, they are pretty much the same. But what is uh, different that, um, for example, in KCB Bank, they ask you, um, again, to have an uh, open account there, to be a holder of the, um, of the account with at least, um, let me put it like this, bank, n not the bank, but account holder for at least six months, at least. Six months is needed. So you you show the bank that you are, uh, have a good and um, uh, credit profile, meaning that they trust you and you successfully continue working with them. So regular deposits and uh, what is also required by KCB is to have a residency. R residence is important here as well. And uh, guys, so I, uh, apart from the requirements that we just discussed, what is uh, what I want you to uh, um, pay your attention to is those banks. And these are banks, let me repeat it to you. These are banks that we are cooperating with because our partners have an open account in each of them. What it gives you and gives us. So they know BSC company, they know our partners, our branch offices. So we already started um, uh, having a good uh, credit profile in them. And uh, right now uh, we are giving you this good chance, this opportunity to increase the chances of you getting a loan banks so what is needed please guys uh put your full name and the phone number in the chat box so next to the video that you are watching put your full name and phone number for me specifically to know that you are interested to get a drilling rig from bst with the loan and to have it in this or that bank because we are going to gather this information, your full name, uh, your number, and so on. So it will be provided to the bankers in each bank or to our partners who will uh, contact uh, the account managers and they will know the information about you. So your uh, applications, your requests, they will be forwarded to these banks. Again, why we are doing this? Because it will increase the chance of you getting a loan in these banks because we cooperate with them. So again, I repeat what is needed. Number one is to put um, your full name. Number two is to put your phone number with the country code. That's right. So do not forget about it. Okay, we move on. So right now we discuss the requirements and the next step that we will talk about is the down payment. What is down payment? Down payment is uh, the initial payment uh, requested by the bank. So they know that you are solvent, that you can uh, pay, that you have um, uh, some money to be offered to the bank, let me put it here. Down payment. This is what we are discussing right now. So down payment in uh, Access Bank in Zambia, let's start from Zambia again. So it is 25% um, uh, of the uh, requested loan. 
So, uh, again, why do you need to, um, to put any down payment, right, to the bank? Is uh, for them to, uh, to understand that you uh, are able to continue the deal and in order to show the uh, commitment to the bank. Uh, though, apart from Access Bank in Zambia, there are other banks, of course, and they are able to finance um, so even up to 100% um, uh, percent of the uh, loan amount. Okay, as for Tanzania, so in um, um, it varies, the down payment, uh, it varies from uh, 25 up to 30%, again, dependent on banks. And um, mm -mm. therefore, it means that the bank uh, will cover 75 up to uh, 80%, of course. But we are speaking about uh, down payment. 25, 25, so the situation is uh, similar if we compare these two countries. And as for uh, Nigeria, so we have a little different
as for a loan period, we have options for Zambia from two years, right, 24 months, up to 36 months, right, three years, uh, four years, or uh, five years, which is 60 months. So when we speak about uh, Tanzanian banks, what they offer for the loan period is one month, uh, not month, <laughs> sorry, one year uh, up to three years. This is the loan period. As for Nigeria, again, we, we see that it's, um, it's similar, right? We have uh, similar cases. One year, two years. And as for uh, KCB Bank in Kenya, we have options from three years up to five years. So I think this is a self-explanatory situation, the loan period for the following banks for the following countries. And the next uh, the next step that we will discuss are the banks, right? Uh, the banks that we recommend, like I said, you can see them right here, the Axis Bank in Zambia, uh, Mwanga Hakika Bank in Tanzania, uh, UBA Bank in uh, Nigeria, and KCB Bank in Kenya. So this is these are the banks uh, that we cooperate with, that we have open account in them. Uh, therefore, again, let me remind you, uh, therefore, we can um, provide them information about you, each of you who are willing to get a loan in these banks. We can gather this info, your contact info, and uh, forward it to, uh, to the bank managers there so they could uh, take your applications uh, in, uh, into consideration to increase your chance of getting a loan in their bank. Again, what is needed? Please uh, put uh, in the chat box section your full name, your number. Okay? All right. Okay. <laughs> I hope you do so. Okay, as for the banks, what are the bank's options? Because if uh, for some reasons uh, you do not want to work with these specific banks that we recommend you to work with, so it's not a problem, it's your choice, which you do have. Therefore, for example, in Zambia, uh, we have options with the Zanaco Bank, then um, Natsave, Nat Bank, Invest Trust, and so many more. First Capital Bank. ABSA, which uh, we will see in other, uh, presented in other countries as well. Uh, then uh, Zambia Industrial Commercial Bank, right? Zambia Industrial Commercial Bank. Then um, Atlas Mara Bank, and so, so many more of them. As for uh, Tanzania, we have just uh, as an option for you to, uh, to have a choice, right? And to consider different options. And CBA, Commercial Bank. Uh, as for Nigeria, besides uh, United Bank of Africa, uh, we also um, possibly can suggest you First, first bank or uh, guarantee trust bank, GTB. 
And moving on to Kenya, we have KCB Bank and uh, also ABSA that we again present, uh, have presented in other um, countries as well. And Stand Big Bank in Kenya. Stand Big. Different options, like I, like I said. Okay, guys. Okay, again, uh, you can get this information, this full information, in the uh, material that can be sent to you for free. What is needed? Just uh, let me know in the chat box your full name and your number. So I will contact you and uh, uh, give you this information, okay? All right. So we continue. We do not stop on this. So after discussion of uh, uh, bank options, we move on to the collateral. This is what we uh, started discussing. Because banks without collateral, they simply uh, do not exist. <laughs> okay. Collateral. So, um, as for uh, the collateral, is the um, is something uh, to is required by the bank and it's uh, something that uh, proves that you are able to actually uh, uh, fulfill the whole loan yet to pay it to pay it uh, till um, to finalize it to the bank and um, for example for Zambia we have um, uh, some fixed deposit Fixed deposit. So uh, fixed deposit meaning that so the loan will be backed up uh, by suitable collateral, yeah, uh, which is decided by the bank, and uh, and some of them they. Uh, they have their own fixed deposit that uh, they will tell you in person when you apply uh, to the bank. And um, for example, as for Tanzania, we have what they need, right? As a collateral, I think some of you already guessed it because uh, this is a very, um, common situation, right? Uh, this is very widespread when uh, banks require uh, some real estate as a collateral, right? So they, um, they need to make sure that you are uh, able to, uh, to pay the whole loan. So they, uh, they use it as a, as a um, insuring, as a security. Same uh, goes for Nigeria, right? Some property. Which uh, equals um, even maybe two times, right? Of the, of the product or uh, of the loan amount. So property or real estate, it's, uh, it can be the same thing or in Nigeria, we have uh, option number two, which is uh, down payment. Remember, we discussed down payment. So it's a down payment of 40%. So it works uh, too as an option here. As for Kenya, so uh, in Kenya, KCB Bank, for example, it asks to provide 
uh, or to be able to provide the cash uh, equaling, which equals uh, to the loan amount to the amount, uh, amount of the loan, exactly, that, uh, that is being requested. So you see that the uh, situation is uh, a little different for each uh, bank, for each country, but still there always be some collateral. So please keep it in mind. Okay. Okay, we are done with the collaterals. And we continue uh, to, the, uh, to the next point of discussion, which is uh, the wait time uh, for you as an applicant. So how long do you need to wait to actually get your uh, loan, right? How long does it take uh, for any um, bank to, um, to review your documents? So let me put it like this, like, um, wait time. I think uh, most of you already uh, could guess it. The main thing <laughs> that uh, um, how we can speed up any time, right, is to is to be active, is to actually act in any sphere, right. Therefore, the wait time for the application, for you to get a bank loan, it depends on, um, on such a factor is how fast you provide all the necessary documents. So as simple as that. But if we speak about uh, Zambia, we have uh, such an information as um, uh, from two to four weeks. They promise you to figure out or uh, to give you the, the decision or the approval of your loan in uh, uh, up to one month. And um, mm, for some cases, right, if you provide all the documents in time, if, uh, if you have a, a good um, credit profile, so it can be just one week. Uh, uh, lead time or wait time. In Tanzania, uh, the situation is uh, a little different, though similar. We have, uh, okay, let, let me put it in, um, in weeks, right? We have 14 days, just one week, up to two weeks. So up to 14 days, you will have your uh, application reviewed with the, some decision. Hopefully, you will get the approval of your loan. In Nigeria, they claim that they have up to, up to one month uh, of the wait time. And uh, in uh, uh, KCB Bank, so they claim to uh, deal with your application uh, in some cases, three days up to one week. You see, so it um, actually, like I said, how you can um, speed up the whole process is to be always in contact with your uh, account manager in the bank or with partners in uh, our BST branch offices in each country. So they will also uh, will try to help you out with that as well. OK, we discussed the wait time of the application, right? Right now, we are, we are getting closer to the, uh, to the end of our discussion specifically for the uh, for for our topic yeah and what's that is the product availability uh, is it really important for a bank uh, to have an actual product yeah which is in our case it's a drill and rig if it's uh, truly important for them to have it in your country right to have it in zambia tanzania nigeria or kenya 
So, let me put it like this. Product availability. So, um, of course, of course, um, for example, in, uh, in Zambia, for Access Bank, uh, if the equipment, yeah, if the drilling rig will be used as a collateral, is something that you, um, that you could possibly uh, give to the bank, right, the collateral, then the equipment must be available for a physical inspection, for a checkup. In this case, it's a must, right? Um, if, uh, if the client uses something else as a collateral, uh, not the drill rig, then in this case, it could, be, um, it could be possible for the product not being available physically. You see, um, uh, if it's Collateral, collateral, <laughs> then you must, must have the product, you must have it. If, if the customer doesn't use uh, the drill rig uh, as a collateral, if not collateral, then you do not need to have the product available in, uh, in Zambia, right? In, uh, in actual, um, in the warehouse, right? Or anywhere there. Okay, um, so the situation for Zambia is clear, I guess. We move on to Tanzania. So, um, Answering the question, if the product, if the drink is needed for, uh, for any bank in Tanzania to give you a bank loan, so they claim that yes, uh, it is needed. And the, um, though uh, it, it is requested, though what is uh, the first step that you uh, should do as a customer is to provide uh, the performa or the invoice, right? Let me put invoice here. The invoice should be provided to you to get a bank loan first. And by the way, it is applicable to our situation uh, right now. If you guys are from Tanzania and uh, you would like to uh, request a bank loan in a bank, right now, so uh, since the delivery and the dispatch of uh, uh, drill rigs is planned so it will be, therefore, right now, you do not uh, need to wait, you waste any time. So you get the invoice from us and you try to apply uh, in the bank. Try, uh, try to request a loan, just using the invoice and some documents such as uh, supply agreement and so on, which we are ready to support you with. We have these documents, so please contact us. Um, then, of course, <clears throat> as an option, so um, what is also suggested um, by, by the banks and just generally speaking, um, uh -huh. so you could use the, uh, the product itself, right? to use the drilling rig to actually uh, to pay for your loan, to use the drilling rig. And uh, of course, this is applicable one, once you purchase the drilling rig from a uh, uh, Tanzanian uh, warehouse. So you can start uh, operating it and you start making uh, any profit out of it working on the drill rig. Therefore, 
you, um, you are already in process of uh, uh, paying the loan uh, back to the bank. Okay, um, and uh, this is the same, this very situation, it works for Nigeria as well. So, um, they claim to have, uh, that they must have product available in Nigeria uh, for the approval of, uh, uh, of the bank loan. So, in, uh, in most of the cases, right, in most of the banks, though um, how we can actually uh, prove it, how we can check it, is just to ask uh, any account manager in the bank uh, in Nigeria. This is how you know it. Again, I repeat, I repeat it here, that drilling rig is needed to uh, for um, for making profit, right? For paying your uh, loan back. For paying for paying the loan, it's the same, right? For making profit, for paying the loan. Okay, and um, similar situation. Uh, works with uh, Kenya, with KCB Bank, they ask you to have uh, the drilling rig available. Again, I put must here. They need it, right? Uh, the bank needs it for the uh, inspection. Okay, okay. So, you can uh, actually check, for those of you who are from uh, Zambia, you can check uh, the situation for um, other three countries, uh, how it works, right, in other countries. Or if you are Tanzania, you also do your comparison. So, I think it's, uh, it's um, really interesting, yeah, to compare uh, the same topic, the same point, but uh, how it works in different countries. All right. Okay, guys. So, for now, we discussed uh, all the points that I wanted, personally, I wanted to discuss with you, uh, which are the requirements from the banks, uh, the recommended banks, or the options that you might have, uh, the loan period, uh, the wait uh, period of uh, application, product availability, uh, the interest rate, and so on. So we had eight points in total, which again, so I have it here, yeah, in the table with the, all the information uh, for each country, but you, uh, you may have it too, uh, such a material which will be your helper, right? So how to get it for free, just the whole content of uh, our webinar. So what is needed is for me to know your full name and phone number. This is what I want to see in the, um, in the chat box. So I know for sure whom I will contact right after this uh, webinar and uh, I will get you this uh, information. So I think it's a uh, good motivation for you. But as for now, let me remind you guys. Let me remind you that we have GBU 15 LP that we discuss every day. And uh, we have them ready in stock uh, in our warehouse, and uh, they're not only ready just because the production is completed, but they're ready for the dispatch. And uh, we told you about the, the, the promotion offer, the special pre-order price, uh, which you know, and um, 
Remember, remember this, that you can get 1000 uh, USD discount for GBU 15 LP. So, and it is valid for Zambia, Tanzania, and Kenya. So for these countries, as for Nigeria, guys, trust me, you have a really nice offer. So uh, we will have another special uh, promotion for you, but uh, later. So do not worry. Do not feel um, uh, any, <laughs> any emotions. Yeah, do not feel upset about it. So, um, okay, let me remind you how you can get this discount from your order of uh, GBU 15 LP, 1000 USD. So what is needed again is to make 10% pre-order before February, before next Tuesday, February the 6th. And uh, the condition number two is to send me uh, on WhatsApp the promo code, which I will share very soon at the very end of this video, of our live stream. So we'll keep this su uh, suspense. And uh, guys, you see, um, so for each country, right, for Kenya, for Zambia, for Tanzania, we have uh, uh, special pre-order prices, uh, which you can check on um, uh, special promo pictures that we uh, share pretty much every day on our uh, WhatsApp group chats. So, or again, you can contact me. My uh, contact information uh, is in the description box below this video. So any information, it will be available for you. Just contact me. Okay, guys. Um, so we discussed everything that I wanted to share with you. And uh, I know that you shared you shared some questions, right? Uh, in a chat box that I asked you about. Thank you for doing this. And uh, I have them here. Okay, so question number one, right? Uh, let me read it to you out loud. My question is, if I buy um, direct from BST 15L, how I will pay full amount? That's a very good question. <laughs> so. Um, looks like uh, you do not even need to uh, use any bank loans, right? Okay, I hope that you uh, left your um, uh, full number and phone, full name and uh, phone number. So uh, we will contact you and give you this uh, information. Though we do uh, have... Um,
working. Я не слышу сейчас. Да. Я прочитала, что ты пишешь. Может, его подзарядить? Не, он не сел. Он просто... Это очень хорошо, что он не сел. Он долго просто... Не хочет. О, даже я попал. Не знаю. Там вообще микрофон. Check, sound check. Do you hear me well? Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, okay, guys. Thank you for uh, letting me know. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right. So we continue. Uh, the question was uh, regarding how to get a bank loan here in Zambia. Remember all this. Um, all this part, it was uh, uh, devoted to Zambia, how to get a loan there, what is a uh, recommended bank, uh, Axis Bank, right? So all the information, so it was uh, provided. And uh, guys, do not underestimate yourself uh, regarding uh, whether you have a uh, uh, small scale business or huge business or just any business, right? So if you are willing to work hard, yeah, to get a BC drilling rig with or without any uh, bank loan, so it is possible. And like I told you, uh, the preferable way for you to do so is to uh, contact us or our partners in each country in order for them to give your uh, contact information, your name and uh, phone number, and to provide them to uh, the following banks, right? This will increase your chances of getting a bank loan. And this is what we all want to. So therefore, even right now, uh, I can see your names, but uh, if you want to get a bank loan, for sure, if you want to get it uh, mm, approved, right? If you uh, want to your um, your application to be approved or considered with the uh, with the special attention, right? So please put your name next to your uh, name. Mm, put your name and number, phone number. This is what I need to make sure that uh, our partners forward information about you to the banks. And uh, the next question, which banks here in Zambia uh, you have by names, right? So I remind you that um, mm -hmm. so here here, I, provide you, I provided you with the bank names in Zambia or in each country, and I put uh, some of them uh, on the board, but I can share this information with you, remember? So it is possible. Just let me know by contacting me on WhatsApp or here uh, in the comments, okay? So I will put um, and send you the bank names for each country, wherever you are. Okay, question number four we have. Uh, I would ap appreciate knowing uh, whether there are particular banks involved in this marketing strategy. Exactly, exactly. This is what we uh, spoke about. You see the names here. So they are the banks that we work with, that our partners do, that we recommend you to uh, to open your accounts and to successfully or to increase the chance of you getting a bank loan in these banks. So, 
that that's the goal this is what we want from uh for you as well all right guys so as for the questions uh i think that's it that's it so um we are getting closer to the uh, completion of our live stream to the end and uh, again let me remind you something that you can be very much inspired with so 1000 usd discount do you want it or not <laughs> yes okay okay what's needed 10% pre-order before next Tuesday. Number two, the promo code. <laughs> Bravo. What's, what's the promo code? It's loan 2020. <laughs> Four. This is the promo code. So if you want to get a discount for GBU 15 LP, if you uh, comply with these two conditions and send me this promo code to my WhatsApp, number so i know how do i know by you sending this promo code uh, on my whatsapp therefore we can continue with the with the discount to you for gb15 lp all right um i guess uh, that's it for today's uh, live stream for this webinar I truly hope that it was useful for you. And guys, thank you for staying uh, this long. Thank you for uh, getting to the end uh, of this live stream, for getting the promo code that I hope you've been waiting for. And uh, yeah, I, I truly hope that uh, this important information was uh, successfully delivered to you. And um, so guys, We'll see you next Friday because we want to have this uh, uh, on a regular basis, right? Every week we meet with you, we discuss something very important, very uh, interesting and useful for you to make our cooperation even more effective. It was me, Christina. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye, guys.